Well, here at the Al Grill and Saloon, they are famous for much of their food, but something in particular no one else makes, homemade apple pie. Let's see how they make it. Hi, this is Melissa. I'm down at the Owl. Today is pie day, and today we're making Grandma's famous apple pie. Uh, we, are make, we always make her crust from scratch, the old-fashioned way, and the spice mix for the apples is a secret family recipe. Flour, I always make sure that I'm sifting it really, really well. That's one of the secrets. Some people use a sifter. I go ahead and I just use a fork because I've kind of developed a feel for the technique and how the flour needs to be. Um, we always use short, we use shortening for our crust. And the trick is to get the right consistency. I only start with about half. I do it by hand because one of the tricks to a perfect pie crust is not over, is not over processing. Shortening is cold. So that way the dough interacts properly with the other ingredients when made into the dough. Now I, I added the second half. And now we don't, we don't want to overprocess this, so we won't go all the way down to the consistency of cornmeal. We wait until the pieces are about the size of uh, large peas. Add ice water. And you just have to judge based on where, where you are, the humidity in the air, how much you add. I typically add six to eight tablespoons. And now I split this into two and I determine my top and my bottom crust. So we're gonna roll it out. Just start by making a nice disc. And then you just kind of get a feel for how to work it to evenly spread it out so it goes into a nice circle. Now I have my spice mix ready and I have my apples ready. So we're just gonna get that mixed together, have the official taste tester taste it, and then I can put it in the pie. Here's the official taste tester, my father. So he knows what grandma's apple pie should taste like. So our reputation's at stake here. <laughs> the sugar will break down a little bit more because the apples were a little cooler this time. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put the apples in the pie. I want to be careful not to get too much juice right away because you want to avoid boiling over and overcooking the apples in the sauce, in the juice. taking off extras, excess as I go. And we're ready to go in the oven. For a complete recipe, contact or visit the Al Grill and Saloon.